good afternoon. It's truly a blessing for two people to find one another, for them to love so deeply that they embrace the bond of marriage. That is why we're here today, Danielle and Michael, in this beautiful surroundings, beautiful Belvedere Castle, looking over the park to witness and celebrate your commitment to your union. So welcome to New York. Welcome to beautiful Central Park Marriage Central on this gorgeous day. You two have known each other since you met on a school bus in your hometown 13 years ago. And after years of friendship, you're now ready to make this next step in your relationship to formalize your union with marriage. Your friends and family, those no longer with us, are not here to celebrate on this special day. But I know that you've got them in your hearts and you will celebrate with them in different ways. Danielle and Michael, I'm going to read to you the wedding toast from the film Frida to remind you that marriage is a precious gift, a lifelong commitment, and a challenge to love one another more completely each and every day. As it goes, I don't believe in marriage. <laughs> no, really, I don't. Let me be clear about that. I think at worst it's a hostile political act a way for small-minded men to keep women in the house and out of the way, wrapped up in the guise of tradition and conservative religious nonsense. At best, it's a happy delusion. These two people who truly love each other have no idea how truly miserable they're about to make each other. But, but when two people know that and they decide with their eyes wide open to face each other and get married anyway, then I don't think it's conservative or delusional. I think it's radical. I think it's courageous and very romantic. And so now, if you pass your flowers to me, hold both your hands together, look into each other's eyes. Michael, do you take Danielle to be your wife and best friend, to live together in the commitment of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in the best or worst of times, in poverty or wealth, through every stage of life and appearance, to share her thoughts, hopes, and dreams, forsaking all others, and be faithful to her as long as you both shall live, are you? Danielle, do you take Michael to be your husband and best friend, to live together in the commitment of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in the best or worst of times, in poverty or wealth, through every stage of life and appearance, to share his thoughts, hopes, and dreams, forsaking all others, and be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Thank you. So now we come, Danielle and Michael, to the presentation of rings by which you symbolize and bind your love. I know you have for me. <laughs> okay. So, Michael, you're going to take that ring, put it on Danielle's ring finger, and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. And now put that on Michael's ring finger and say, With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. Now, Michael and Danielle, you've chosen to pledge your vows to the ancient Celtic custom of the Oathing Stone. Beautiful stone. In the Celtic tradition, important vows were intimately tied to the spirit of place. And the most binding of promises were sealed by casting the vow into the Oathing Stone. The Oathing Stone serves as a bridge between the couple, the blessings of ancestors past, and this immediate place and time. It will help root your future into the wisdom of the past at the start of your new life together. Michael and Danielle, the Celtic knot and Oathing Stone symbolizes your new union of trust, love, and friendship. So now hold this stone together and pledge your vows to seal your union. Stranger, friend, lover, man, woman, family, or wife, I am hers and she is mine from this day until the end of my days. It's beautiful. It's really and nice. so now, Danielle and Michael, and as much as you have made these vows before these witnesses and 
pledged your faith in each other, declared your unity by giving and receiving a ring and making an oath on that stone. By the authority vested in me by the state and city of New York, I now pronounce you married and you may kiss 